Hey, welcome back. This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I'm out on my patio because I wanted to show you something that I just got in the mail um, Sunday. And I was expecting it, so I wasn't surprised. And Michael, who has a YouTube channel, and he has a website. His YouTube channel is KB9VBR. And he does reviews of radios, and he builds these antennas. That's what's in this long box here, and I'm going to show it to you right now. And Michael, thank you for sending me this antenna for a review. So we're going to walk over there. My voice might go down some. Uh, I think what I'll do, I think I'll move the camera over closer. I don't want to go too close because I want to show you the full size of the antenna. You go down a little bit, you probably won't be able to see all of me, which will be good. So here we go. Like I say, this came in the mail Sunday. Um, I had just talked to Mike about getting one of these uh, a few week, a few days before that, and boom, it shows up already. So let's open her up. Here it is. And what it is, it is a J-Pole antenna. This design's been around for many years, and the dimensions of the antenna are based on the frequency you want to operate on. This antenna is designed to work on 2 meters. It also will work on 70 centimeters, but it's, it's tuned for two meters. And it's about, as you can see, it's about six feet tall. And uh, I can see the basic design is been around for a while. It's called a J-pole because of the shape of it. This is the connector right here, which is placed on the antenna at a spot for the lowest SWR at the frequency you want to operate. So you have to adjust this spot and then solder it in place. It's all copper, um, well constructed. All joints are nice and neat and clean. And we're going to be testing this in another video. I'm going to, uh, one thing that I learned from Michael's video on these antennas is that you don't have to have them grounded. He actually did a test where he was holding it up in the air and using an HT antenna. And he said in some of the comments that it will work just as well holding it like that as it will having it grounded. That was a surprise for me. So again, I want to thank Michael for sending me this. And I will be testing it. And let me see if I can move my camera over to where I'm going to position it. Let's try that and see how it happens. All right, we're going to move the camera and hopefully not drop it. It's really overcast this morning. It's about 8 o'clock. This is my uh, so-called garden <laughs> that covers the whole patio now. Ready for growing season. So we're going to come around here back to the side of my house where I have numerous antennas installed. I think I have about a dozen antennas installed right now and I probably have 30 or 40 antennas. The rest of them in storage. Now the plan is is I added a pole right there. It's about 8 feet and I'm going to attach it to that pole and see how it works. So that's the plan. We'll go back to the antenna one more time. And what I'm going to do next to that antenna is my 31 foot vertical antenna from MFJ. I'm going to use that coax cable to connect to this coax cable. I live about 
a mile line of sight from a real small airport. And um, this time of the morning, people get in their little airplanes and commute. So I get a lot of uh, traffic flying overhead. So that's the plan. Um, like I say, this antenna's about a total of a little under six foot tall based on the frequency you want to use it. Now you can make these antennas for other specific frequencies. Like you could make one for specific 70 centimeters, which means it'll be shorter. But this one, um, Doug says that this one will also work on 70 centimeters. I've also seen designs where they make what what's called a dual J pole, which they have two sections, one section tuned for 70 centimeters and one section tuned for two meters. Many years ago, probably 30 years ago, I made one for six meters, which meant the height was really, really high. And like I say, these are uh, the ones that Michael makes and he sells these on eBay. And I'll put a, um, a link below this show to his eBay location so that you can purchase one of these. They're very inexpensive based on the fact that copper right now is very expensive. So I would say Michael is almost selling them at his cost. So that's it. We're going to hook this up and then we'll do another video with it actually. We'll do, we'll use my um, analyzer, my SW analyzer and see how it's tuned and then we'll hook up a radio to it and see how well it works. That's it. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks again. Bye-bye.